they can't scare you. They can't control you. They can't. They, they, they try to suppress you, but that's how they try to categorize They you. can't control me. You get what I'm saying? That I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah. You appreciate Michael you. Jordan. What about him? His daddy. Right now in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Wes can end this by telling the truth. And what do you believe that truth is? The doctor had nothing to do with his mom. You know, and then he had said in one of the interviews that he did, Kanye knows why his mom died. I just wish he would tell the truth about it. That's what the doctor said. Oh, wow. And this was a year and a half after Donda died. So if the doctor said all of these years ago, Kanye knows what happened to his mother, I wish he would tell the truth about it, and now he's saying my mother was sacrificed? I don't know. Is he crazy? Is he? To do it the way he did it, it's malicious. When Kanye said it, most people passed it off as just his bipolar disorder acting up. But now another source has just stepped up to confirm that the details of the rapper's mother's death aren't just hazy, but that she was actually sacrificed. Just as Kanye revealed. But what's even more exciting about all of this is who came out to confirm Kanye's story. Maybe that's why you moved his ass around and now the Rockefeller so tough and then just move right over to Def Jam. By the way, wasn't this all around the time when Aaliyah died? Yeah. Over the past couple of years, Kanye has had more than a few incidents that have led people to believe he might be dealing with some personal things. And that observation did prove right when it was exposed that the rapper indeed had bipolar. Since then, most of the things the rapper has said in the media have been looked at as an effect of his mental health troubles. However, a new update has just hit the media that pretty much proves that Kanye has always known exactly what he was talking about. And this particular case is related to his mom, as his claims about her getting sacrificed might not have been as far-fetched as most people thought. So, according to the headlines, Kanye West recently revealed in a paparazzi interview that his mother, Donda's death, was sacrificed. The singer has been making headlines for his controversial statements, and his most recent claims about his mother have left followers perplexed. However, the gist now is that the doctor that was involved in her case has now confirmed that there were a lot of distorted facts about how she ended up dead. I ain't taking no slice from nobody. It's God. That's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. In an exclusive clip shared by Instagram paparazzi page The Shade Room, Kanye West shared his wild theory about Hollywood elites as he sat in the passenger seat of his Maybach. In the interview, the rapper shared that his mother was sacrificed and that a lot of dark things had been happening in Hollywood for years, but that the only reason it hasn't come up is that the people in charge had been controlling several big celebrities. In fact, during his big reveal, the rapper also name-dropped some other celebrities that had been involved and were under the control of this group of elites controlling Hollywood. Specifically, he brought up other black celebrities, like Shaquille O'Neal who have condemned his recent behavior as he asserted that he will not be controlled. They can't control me, he stated. They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. But they can't control me. You see, it ain't no name I won't name. It's up. In order to control trauma tan, they can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. I know you. However, the thing is that this whole story isn't exactly as simple as it looks because how his mother died was pretty unusual. According to her autopsy, Donna West died in Los Angeles on November 10, 2007, of coronary artery disease and multiple post-operative factors due to or as a consequence of liposuction and mammoplasty. The 58-year-old opted to get liposuction, a tummy tuck, and a breast reduction the day before she died. Her plastic surgeon doctor, Jan Adams, had a shady history and two major malpractice judgments against him, totaling nearly $500 K. At the time of West's surgery, the Medical Board of California was seeking to suspend or revoke Adams' license because of multiple alcohol-related arrests. West suffered from chronic health issues, including high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and cardiac artery damage, which Dr. Adams would have ruled her out as being healthy enough for surgery if he had given her a proper physical exam. Another surgeon told the LA Times anonymously that West had approached him months prior about having cosmetic surgery, but then he did not perform the procedure because of an undisclosed pre-existing condition that might result in a heart attack. Then California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger subsequently signed the Donda West law, legislation that makes it mandatory for patients to receive medical clearance through a physical examination before undergoing elective cosmetic surgery. However, the story that Kanye has been pushing in recent times is that Donda's death wasn't an effect of her health conditions, but that she was one of many sacrifices made to get him to the level of fame and fortune he currently sits. This fact was even hinted at recently by the very doctor that performed the surgery. Dr. Jan Adams, the same doctor that performed the procedure on the rapper's mom, has now come out to reveal that there was a lot more about the story that didn't make it to the media and that he was only made to go down for it because he was the fall guy. 
her nurse wasn't there. Her nurse was gone to a baby shower rather than taking care of his aunt. Nonetheless, this whole thing still remained confusing because the story at the time was that the main cause of her death might have been a heart attack, and he'll tell you why. According to her surgeon, West's surgery went normally and he believes she died from a heart attack, pulmonary embolism, or accidental overdose of drugs prescribed to her for pain after the procedure. While she did have Vicodin in her system, an accidental overdose was ruled out by the coroner's office. This means that it was likely a heart condition that ultimately caused her death, which could have been prevented had she not undergone such strenuous surgeries. For his part, Kanye West blamed himself at the time for thrusting his mother into the limelight, which is likely why she sought out a plastic surgeon. To begin with, if I had never moved to LA, she'd be alive. I don't want to go far into it because it will bring me to tears," he said in an interview with Q Magazine in 2015. But now, judging from his recent claims, it seems Kanye might have been blaming himself for a completely different reason than people thought at the time. Because considering everything that's now come up about the whole story, you could easily say that Kanye might have had a change of heart about his mother getting sacrificed for his fame and fortune. And while this could just be brushed off as a wild claim, the fact that he has been seemingly lashing out proves that there's more to it than most people can see. You see, apart from the fact that the rapper named his album after his mother, the theatrics that has come with expressing himself on the album proves that Kanye has been lashing out, and I'll walk you through it. Following on from two stadium events in Atlanta, West debuted another version of Donda and a third event hosted in his hometown of Chicago at Soldier Field. The in-person audience and those watching on the Apple Music livestream were greeted with a recreation of West's childhood home in the center of the arena. The home was encircled by a cavalcade of black cars and people in Donda flak jackets early in the show. And while the event also bumped up the theatrics, most notably, towards the end of the event, footage of West setting himself on fire inside the house was projected onto the arena before West exited, literally on fire. As the lights dimmed, his ex-wife Kim Kardashian showed up in a bridal veil and approached Yeezy's No Child Left Behind played over the speakers. It was a lot to take in and with very little context, which promotes the notion that it might have been some type of message about how his mom had been sacrificed to get him up there. However, this isn't even the only thing that proves Kanye might be going through a lot dealing with what had to be done to get him where he is. A couple of months before coming out to openly reveal his mother was sacrificed, West had been on a rampage, making several mind-boggling wild claims that also landed him in big trouble. Starting a series of problems for himself, West tweeted to say he was going DEPCON 3 on Jewish people before alleging he wasn't anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew also. He added, You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda. Do you now regret saying DEFCON 3 day. on Jewish people? Are you sorry you said that? No. Don't think it matters. You should be. Absolutely not. Although the post has since been removed, it came after he accused record producer Sean Diddy Combs of being controlled by the Jewish people in a post on Instagram. Many people have condemned West's remarks and several brands have distanced themselves from him. Adidas ended its lucrative partnership with the star and announced that production of the popular Yeezy line would stop immediately, after which he dropped out of Forbes' billionaire list. Clothing company Gap Inc., which terminated its tie-up with West in September, is also taking immediate steps to remove Yeezy Gap products from its stores. Well, this whole thing has started several conversations online, and mostly because influential people have also waited on it. Now, one user, moved by Jaguar Wright's views wrote, So Jaguar Wright says the doctor that ended up killing Donda said he knows why his mother is dead and then years later he says she was sacrificed and we just supposed to ignore it all. I'm way too deep in this hashtag Jaguar Wright stuff right now. She's said too many facts to ignore. No one has all the facts right now, but safe to say we'll find out pretty soon. That's it for this video. Goodbye.